So this is the first time I've done this, but I asked you guys what I should make next inside DaVinci Resolve. And two weeks have gone by, and it looks like it's paper rip transitions and film scratches take the top spots. I'll probably do more community polls like this in the future, so hit subscribe if you want to have some input. So I put out that community poll without actually knowing what the heck I'm going to do. I want to create some paper rip transitions. That's what we're going to be doing. I have no idea how I'm going to do it, but I do know I want it to be with real paper. I don't want to be doing this on the computer. Uh, I want to go out, go to Dollarama, buy some Bristol board, buy some paper, and start ripping it. I guess we're going to film it or scan it so I can get it into Fusion, and then I'll figure it out from there. So if you're watching this video, I must have figured it out, and you can just head to the download link in the description and uh, get some new transitions, but for right now, we just got to go step by step here and trial and error it, and the first step is to go get some paper. So let's go. I'm going to get some extra white for sure because we need that and a black for the background. I have an overhead camera right now and basically I'm just going to do some paper rips and kind of hope for the best and the thing that I do know right now is that so they need to completely split. I'm just hoping that like doing it analog this way will be the easiest for my brain. Yeah let's hope for the best here. Okay, so all this paper tearing and paper rip footage actually looks pretty good. Before we move to the next step, I'm just gonna take a break and like touch some grass because I feel like I'm gonna spend the next week just inside Fusion. But right now, I think the next steps are making a map from what we just filmed, which is basically just having one clip reveal the next clip and then just spend a bunch of time in Fusion stylizing and making it actually look like paper. And um, yeah, hopefully we come out on the other side with some good looking transitions. Yeah, all right, let's, uh, let's touch some grass and I'll see you guys on the other side. Okay, so I kind of found my fusion workflow right now. So I'm taking all the video clips that you saw of the paper rips and I'm cutting them down and condensing them into about 15 frames because I feel like that's the sweet spot uh, that I personally use as a transition. And then I'm gonna round trip them into Photoshop to make a mat and then load them back into Fusion and then hit it with some extra effects to get some spice going. And then once I'm happy with one of the transitions, I gotta do that a bunch of times because I wanna include a bunch of different options in this transition pack. So I gotta lock in. Okay, so one thing I was thinking while I was finishing up in Fusion right now is I kind of want there to be sound effects for all of these transitions because it just makes sense. So I think the next step right now is actually to record. I should have done this like while I was doing it, but I, I got to record some paper rip sounds that I can include with the download so that when you apply a transition, you can also maybe have like a power bin of sound effects that are ready to go to drop right into your edit. So I wanna do that and then I think they're gonna be done. Okay, so I'm just setting up to record some paper rip transition sounds, and I just wanted to take a second and mention the Discord channel. Before I came in here to start recording, I dropped the transitions into the Discord channel to get feedback on it, and that really helps me a ton to make sure the controls all work, the actual pack is working itself, and gives you guys a chance to actually have feedback and what controls you want to see or what kind of things you want to see next. And not only that, but like we're just hanging out, talking about filmmaking, talking about videos that people in the in the community have been making so yeah it's a really chill community would love to have you there if you're interested link is in the description so come hang all right let's set up and get to this Okay, I'm super stoked on how everything came together. Spending all of those hours inside Fusion definitely paid off, along with filming and recording the sound effects for the paper rips. I really feel like it adds a lot. So I wanna show you the final product and a little bit of the controls on how they work. So uh, yeah, let's just dive into it and show you the final product.
Okay, so when you download the pack, it's going to be in effects, transitions, and it'll make a new folder under the Creative Herd paper transitions. And you'll have 11 to choose from, and they're really easy to use. So you can kind of see in all the thumbnails on what it's kind of going to look like. Uh, let's take maybe number two here. So once you've chosen your transition, you can select your length on how long you want the transition to take. Uh, I've kind of set them up all to be around 15. So I'm just going to keep it because that's kind of my favorite to use. So this is what the stock transition will look like right off the bat. And then you have some controls here. So I can change the edge color if I want it to be a different color. And if I don't want it, I can completely just remove the opacity and that'll just create the outline of the effect. But personally, I think the little white edge here really sells it, and if you want more, you can always add more or dial it back. So I'll give the paper edge a little bit more thickness so you can see here, but if you change the edge angle, it kind of changes the rip a bit, so you can get a little bit of a different look here. And then you can also change the blur if you want to blur it out a little bit. But again, I actually quite like the stock settings. That's why I left them stock. <laughs> This little reverse button up here reverses the transition, so it kind of goes out rather than comes in. So you can see what I mean. And then we have the paper texture. So if you don't want it at all, you can just drag the opacity all the way down. The brightness and the contrast will affect how much paper actually comes through. With those two things, you can make it a little bit more subtle. And just like that, you have a paper transition. And the downloads, you also have the paper sounds. So I got one right here. And with the sound, this could be the final transition. So super simple, really hyped on how they came together. And I hope you like them. Okay, I'm sure this has been a journey. Thanks for watching. Uh, and yeah, you can head to the description and download these if you edit in DaVinci Resolve and want some new transitions. And if you just liked watching this, hit that subscribe button and uh, stick around, watch for the community polls because you could uh, have some input on what's created next because I have a lot of fun doing it. So, all right, see you in the next one. Peace.